All right, so I have a previous video that shows how to create a free account on Google Cloud Platform and how to create, um, enable an API for um, Google Machine Translation and create an API key. And so this video is just to show how to use that API key. So first you got to go to the Google Cloud Platform. We're just in the dashboard here. You have to make sure to select the project where you created that API key. And then you go here to Credentials. And you copy the API key. Of course, this is not the full key or else you'd be able to read it off my screen right now and use it. Um, not going to show you the key, of course. But you copy here the key that you've made. And then I'm going to do this example with Trotto Studio. When you create a translation project, um, we'll just say use MT. And we can have, you know, whatever language pair we want, the API isn't, um, it's going to be able to um, work with most any language you want to use. So we'll go from Portuguese into English and how about German? And then I just need to give it a text to translate. And then when we go here to translation resources, you go to here on the translation memories part use and you just go down to Google Cloud Translation API. Say yes there, and here is where you will paste your API key. And you can select between neural or phrase-based MT. Neural is the you know newer generation models. Um, I'm sure they've been working on phrase-based as well. But anyways, you hit OK. And now this resource, Cloud Translation from Google, is enabled for the project. And so I'm just going to go ahead and hit Finish so that we can open the project here. And right now, this is into English. And I'll open the file. And it populates my target automatically with um, the English. And if I want, I can edit any of the English, if I don't think that the uh, machine translation did a good job. But this is essentially how it works. Very simple. I'm just going to save here quick and then exit out. And of course, with this, I could also enable a translation memory in my project settings right here where um, you go to language pairs and you go to translation memory and automated translation. I could use a file-based translation memory, server-based, whatever you want, or I could create a translation memory to save all of these translations. But essentially, once I finish translating the document or if I just want you know Google to do it, we can do that. And then I can export the target word file in the new language. And I can do this with multiple languages. So here's German. And it will start populating it with German. And you can also change your project settings so that it pre-translates from, machi from machine translation instead of doing it one by one. I like setting it up one by one like this so I can check it as I go. But you could, if you wanted it to just completely translate everything all the way, you would go here to batch processing and go to pre-translate files. And you could um, change the settings so that it will um, pre-translate. And I think it's actually in a different um, part of the settings where I've um, disabled that pre-translation. Oh no, that's not what it is. Um, I'll show you what it is uh, just really quick here. So 
No, actually, I want to create a new project. So when you create a new project, you know, you set up whether you're going to use um, translation memories or whether you're going to use um, machine translation. But then here where it says batch tasks, um, you can have it pre-translate the files. And right here, you can apply, if you've added um, Google Translate, like from right here, then in batch tasks, we can say, um, under pre-translate, apply automated translation. So what this is saying, if there's nothing found in the translation memory to populate, you can apply automated translation. And so that's something that you can do to have the entire file just translated at once from Google Translate. So that's how you actually use the API key in a computer-assisted translation tool after you've made it.